Bame Farm fans. It's Tuesday, February 16th, 2021, and it's about 16 degrees. So we got the handy dandy 2810 sitting here in the barn. Hey, what's on the front? Where'd this thing come from? Well, we got a, got a little snow plow action on the front. We're gonna go try to you know, push some snow out of the way. We got some snow. We got a lot of sleet last night on top of old snow. Um, it's bright, it's white, and I guess it's in the way. Or we're just gonna go out and have fun driving a tractor. Um, put some fresh hydraulic lines, cause well, this plow hasn't been on in a while. We haven't had much snow to use it. It's been widened out to at least seven feet, which is great. So when it's angled, it covers the tracks of the tractor. Um, you can see there's a seam there and if the seam's right there, it would have trouble, uh, you know, keeping it clean for that tire. Um, so, yep, it's cold. We're gonna have a cold start. Tractor's not plugged in, no block heater, nothing else. We're gonna have fun uh, with that this morning. We're gonna leave the hay spear on the back. I may have to pick up a bale of hay for weight eventually. Oh, let's see how it goes. It's gonna crank slow, that's nothing new, but these four DLT batteries that Ford went with are great because they will crank and crank and crank and crank some more. Oh, one little snip of the go juice. Make sure it's in neutral. We have full faith in the battery. It doesn't sound good. Come on. Oh, not enough ether. That's a good problem to have. You don't want to overdo it. Give another little whiffy whiff. And sometimes it can be too cold that the ether will not atomize well. Come on. got a gear. Let's see what happens as we go out into the whiteness. Let's see how blinded we are. Now the fun part about this with the sleet that we got, we could probably have a solid inch of ice pellets. In some places it froze together, for which when you're walking on it, at, at some places it's real nice and you don't sink in too far. But that makes uh makes you kind of expect that you won't sink in too much but then all of a sudden you'll fall through and that's a little annoying now there's about two to three snows worth of accumulation back here i haven't plowed this area just because it's so tight i don't know where to go with it and i hope it'll just melt and by that time maybe we'll be spreading manure we spread manure just scoop it with the loader tractor we're gonna run out here, get some fuel, and then we'll get to that lovely pushing action. But here comes the fun. We're coming to the road. I'll get to our own yard here in a second. It could be a real pain to deal with just because it's so tight. But the road gives us a nice bit of time to learn. So let's put it down.
through. I don't know if he did much better than me. But we'll take a we'll take a layer off for him, push it back so we're not pushing too much snow. I'm definitely getting to the edge. It's really easy to get to the center of the road because of the crown. And you can't feel the really cold breeze. So far, February has been our winter month, so that's exciting. Yeah, he really did more than anything, more than I could do. Now, I've got down pressure. He's just got gravity to flood his plow down. He does have a bit more weight with the salt for traction. I am spinning just a little bit right here. Of course, it may help if I stay on the road. Who's ready for more cold starts? I tried to plow our driveway, like the whole barn lot back here, uh, you know, with the plow on the 2810. And that didn't go so well. Um, the surface of the driveway being gravel is really rough. And there's some ice. I don't know, it was kind of weird. I couldn't push a whole lot of snow and I ran out of traction. Maybe I could have put a bale on the back, but then again, uh, if it snows again, I'll have no place to push snow the next time just because I'm pushing out of the way with the loader tractor. I can pile it up. Now I got the block heater plugged in, and the loader tractor is definitely a block heater baby. Uh, but even then, we're going to ensure that it starts so we don't totally kill the battery. Because unfortunately, this thing doesn't have enough room for a Ford DLT that's like in the in the Ford. One of those batteries where you can crank and crank and crank, and it's got some capacity for the winter. There's not enough room on this tractor to put that big of a battery in it. So I made my spray ether in the air cleaner, closing it back up. Now I probably sprayed a lot in there, but by the time I you know, put the cover back on and close it up, it'll have dissipated. With transmission in neutral, that always helps to have it out of gear, out of range. Block here is plugged in. Oh, let's see if it cranks. Here goes nothing, hot dog. Come on, come on. Yes! The right amount of ether. I've done this a few times to know just how much to spray how long it takes me to put the cover back on the air cleaner that it will have thinned out and not be so dense and cause it to knock when it fires 
usually once you get the hydro to fire you're running like this morning on the 28 I got it to fire but it didn't have enough heat build up quick enough in the cylinders to keep it firing well let's have some fun pushing snow of sleet last night if not more that's underneath the snow on top so it's icy on bottom and it's just a real pain to push it starts spinning so sometimes i gotta back up and re-grip mm -hmm. 